Hey guys, welcome to Old School Bodybuilding. So today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite exercises for biceps, and that is the Preacher Curl. So this exercise was one that Larry Scott used to use almost exclusively to build his massive biceps back when he won his first two Mr. Olympias. So if you didn't know, Larry had 20 inch arms back in the day, which was very, very massive for the 60s uh, most most that was almost unheard of so Vince was also uh, very fond of the preacher curl as it isolates the biceps completely and keeps all the tension on the muscle throughout the movement I have seen tremendous improvement myself just by performing the preacher curls so Vince of course was always very particular in how he performed his movement and the preacher bench was no exception, of course. So you first start by setting up the bench so that your elbows are at the top of the bench. You don't put your upper arms along the bench that I see a lot of people do out there. And so you first take a shoulder width grip on the bar, and this is gonna be a straight bar. And you start out by curling the weight with the wrists first before you start beginning to curl the weight up. So then as you bring the bar up and you curl it up, you want to make sure that the, you're trying to get the bar to touch your collarbone at the top of the movement with your actual wrists. And you're gonna lower the weight to the starting position after that. Now make sure you are forceful with the movement and you have a smooth cadence. It's one of the keys to all all exercises. Now the hardest part of this movement, as you'll find out, is at the bottom half. And of course there's many variations of this, but this is the very basic way to perform the legendary preacher curls. And so one key to increasing the weight on this movement, like I mentioned before, uh, was to make sure that your wrist strength and your wrist size is adapted first. Uh, this was according to Larry Scott. So my advice to you guys is to work on heavy wrist curls first before you start really increasing the weight on your preacher curls. And I think you'll find that this helps with your development and your strength uh, quite a bit as you uh, improve performance and development. So anyhow, I hope you guys learned something from this today and hope you start incorporating the preacher curls into your arm workouts. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys.